Hey guys, before you get into this uh, video, got my friend Koda here with me today, and he's not liking this at all, so I'm gonna put him down. But unfortunately, due to the whole YouTube kids policy, um, if you were already previously subscribed to me, it will not allow you to turn on your push notifications. So, simple fix. I need you to, you, hopefully you're already subscribed, go to my channel, unsubscribe, then resubscribe, and then turn on the bell notifications so you get notified for all future videos. All right, let's get into the video. What's up everybody? Josh here from Manitoba Fishing Adventures. We are out here today on the floodway in search for some catfish. I haven't catfished in a few years, um, personally, but we got some tulipy today. I got Colton with me. I don't think you, have you ever caught a catfish? No. No, no he's no, never caught no. a catfish, so we gotta take his catfish virginity. But as you can see, the water's pretty low right now. Um, the, it's been pretty, pretty nice the past few days, actually. Just windy, but it's 23 today. It's 8 o'clock in the morning. We have the floodway to ourselves. So, we're gonna cast some lines in, wait for a bite, and hopefully get on some big jumbo caves. Uh, bombs ahoy! That wasn't that far, but YOLO. That could be, that could be the bait. Bait going. That could just be the water taking it. No, that's a fish. Oh yeah, that's a fish. <laughs> oh, Woo. matter of five minutes and we're already hooked up. Wait, close. It'll just start running the Colton. Woo. Nice. <laughs> Dude, that was better like five minutes, not even. Oh. I don't think it's huge. But hey, it's a pretty start. Oh. 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 This one, this one, this one. This one. Put, the Put the camera down. Put the camera down. Yeah. Yeah. Real. Real set the hook, lift up, real set the hook, set the hook. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Double header. Okay, don't you crank it in if it wants to run, it'll run. Okay. Oh, I came off. Nope. No, I'm keep reeling, keep reeling. I lost the handle of the rod. Here, here we are. This is a gong show, folks. This is a gong show. <sighs> yeah, oh, on. Keep, keep keep the rod tip up. You want to keep it bent. Yeah, that's up. Okay. I think you snaked it by mistake. Okay, keep it going. Oh, channel catfish, baby, channel catfish. No, we did not bring a net. <laughs> How's that? Oh, keep, yeah, keep touching on it, yeah. And then just bring it up to shore nice and easy after, and then just hold it there. We'll have to double team this somehow. No way, folks. Not even two minutes. Not even two minutes, and we got a cat. Woohoo! Beautiful. Not even two minutes and we have two fish on each rod. I just gotta grab the pliers quickly. He's just holding the rod for me. <laughs> oh. It's a fun way to start the morning if you ask me. Okay, you stay there, big guy. First. All right. Don't splash me. Big as yours, but. First one, folks. Oh, let's go. Do you hold it kind of like a, like a trout a bit? Yeah. They're not gonna. They're not, not even two minutes. Double header. You gotta like that. Woo let's get some more. Ugh. Let's. Woo -hoo! So guys, I am using a three ounce weight with 25 pound test monofilament and a chunk of tulipy with about two feet of leader attached to it. The reason why I use mono is I typically use braided for like bass fishing, walleye fishing and such, but it's not abrasion resistant. Is that? It's, yeah. Like I was saying before, you're coming closer. 
the reason why we use monofilament is because it's more abrasion resistance, which means that it can take more of a beating up against rocks and such. And when you're fishing the river, there's tons and tons of rocks. So braided, if it gets caught on those rocks, it slowly, slowly gets weaker and weaker because it just starts to fray. So that is one reason why myself and a lot of other people prefer mono for this, especially with snags and such. You can sometimes get the snags out with mono because you can use the slingshot effect where you pull it, let go quick, and then it shoots itself out. So we're going to get this fish in once again. Uh, <laughs> in this tulipy. We've been here about like 25 minutes and this is the third fish so I think it's safe to say they're uh, they're liking this bait. This is a little bit of a chunkier one too. Come here pal. Get me out of the camera. Well that's got a big belly on him. Tail. <laughs> ah, there she is folks. Nice and slimy, yummers. We'll see if we can pop the hook out by hand or if you need pliers. These octopus hooks can be a pain in the butt. Ugh. There we go. Oh! Nice. Gotta like that. So yeah, monofilament. <laughs> So, like I said before, we're just using a piece of tulipy, and I'm using a five-odd hook, an octopus hook, and it's debarbed, obviously, because we're in Manitoba, but there's such a small gap area, when it gets hooked in the fish's mouth, it's pretty much pinned, right? So even taking it out, it can be a little bit of a pain, but I usually take a little piece of just uh, twister tail and put it on, because uh, sometimes you'll get like the bullhead that'll try sucking it off, or smaller fish, right? So that way, especially when you cast two, the bait stays on your hook, and it's ready to rock and roll and get yourself another kitty. So I'm gonna go back, cast this in, and now it's Colton's turn to catch his fish. Okay, y'all. Oh, lift up and set, 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 set. There we go. Yeah, nice and easy. If it wants to run, let it run. Woo! And we're switching over to the big camera. There we go. Big fish, big fish, man. That was literally 30 seconds since the last video. We are hot and heavy on these fish, folks. How's it feel, bud? Feels good. <laughs> I'm, I'm dying to hold this thing. Yeah, oh, for sure. Yeah, that's a nice one. Dude, they are loving this tulipy. It is extremely windy out. Once again, I hope my mic is working right now. Right? Yeah. There you go. Okay, so what's going to happen is give it a few more seconds. Cool. Okay, you're going to anymore. I'll grab this. So go tail grab it. So grab it back by the tail. It's when you can grip onto the tail hard, it's not, uh, once you get a hold of it, it's pretty, pretty easy. That's probably the biggest fish so far, bro. Holy cow. Yeah, they're heavy. Holy cow. <laughs> oh, Come on. Oh, God. Man. Come on. There it is. There it is, his first big channel. Nice Ooh. fish, dude. Okay, put her back in the water, then we'll get the pliers and get that hook out. Okay, give her. There she goes, folks. That's a... Let's go. There you go. Cool. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Good eye, Colton. Lost one a little while ago and you're hooked up again. Gotta keep an eye on that. That rod doesn't go off now, too. Oh, man. Nice. It's a dark fish, dude. Yeah, 
this is really dark here. My biggest one so far. Woo! Nice fish, folks. Oh, see that mouth? Oh, yummers. There it is, folks. Another one. It's probably like low 30s, maybe a master, but we're gonna throw her back. They are heavy fish. See you later, pal. Thanks for the fight. Nice. Whoo! That's a workout, guys. That's a workout. <laughs> cool. Okay, let's get another one. Go. Jeez, I just looked up, guys. I'm on the phone with MPI right now, but a little claim on my truck. There's someone, oh, I thought someone was on. I was like, oh no. Oh, this one feels a little bit bigger. Whew. Oh, let's get a call back. What? Oh, dude, that rod, that rod, that rod, that rod. Okay, give me camera, give me camera, give me camera, give me camera. Give me camera. Oh, I nubbled the real. Is it left and set the hook? Left. There we go. Oh my gosh. Out of nowhere. Out of nowhere. Please record your name and a brief message. Please press one when complete. I'll call you. Hey, my name's Josh. Oh. Biggest one. That's a chunky one. Yeah. Oh. Never mind, yeah, it's got yeah. a huge tear yeah. yeah. Alright. There she goes. Another one for Colton. Ah, well that wraps up today's fishing adventure. We got seven cats in total. He got his first one, actually first three, which is awesome. So they're biting on two of today. It got really windy. We tried getting the drone up for a cool shot, but uh, Colton lost, oh nice, nice. Colton lost uh, <laughs> lost the fish, but hope you liked the video. Make sure you like and subscribe and stay tuned to the next episode of Mantle with Fishing Adventures.